Hey everybody, Travis here, the Alpine Geek. I had a question from one of my students, Joyce, who asks, I hate when I forget to turn Gaia off after a hike and drive home with it still tracking. Is there a way to edit or delete the drive part? Well, Joyce, there definitely is, and I'll show you how. All right, here I am in Gaia GPS for Android and iPhone, and you can see I've got a track that I need to crop. So the first thing I'm going to do is select that track and then choose the information icon to open the details. On iPhone, I'm going to press the options button in the top right and that gets me to this screen. And on Android, I choose edit or on iPhone, I choose crop track. And you can see I've got markers for the start and end point and I'm going to drag that end point. And as I do that, you can see it starts to consume that portion of the track. And now I just need to adjust this to get exactly what I want. And I can zoom in. It can be a little tricky. So I'm just going to fidget with that until I've got it where I want. It's a little too much. Mm, that looks about good enough. And then I'm going to choose the scissor icon on iOS or hit the save button on Android to actually commit the crop. And voila, there we go. The track is cropped. It's important to note that you can't crop the track until you have saved it. So you actually, when you're recording a track, you actually have to finish recording the track, save it, and then go back and edit the track. So that's how easy it is to crop your track in Gaia GPS. If you have any questions on Gaia GPS or Caltopo, feel free to email me, travis at thealpinegeek.com.